Tus Favoritos Chisarrones Picantes. So these are going to be like... Pork rind. Yeah, a little pork rind. Sabor Barbacoa Picante. It's pretty cool. A little spicy barbecue action. You can't really mess with those, but those are just your basic spicy uh, chicharrones. And, uh, I mean, there ain't nothing wrong. Chicharrones! You want some macaroni? Or some chicharrones? YouTube, back again with another video. It is Gavin and Cody, and today we are going to eat some spicy chips from around the world. Around the world. In eight days. And yeah, I mean, it may have taken me eight days to get this, but we got it. That's and, uh, eight? Huh? I thought I said 80. No, it did not take that long. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so yeah, I ordered uh, some spicy chips off of Amazon. It was like 23, 24 bucks for this package. Um, and it said the hottest chips around the world. They are from uh, Guatemala, Mexico, El Salvador, Japan. And then it just says very spicy. And it's got a pepper over here that's on fire and sweating with its tongue out. Uh, skull and bones, very hot chips. Taste at your own risk. Hey, he's missing it too. He is. He got, I guess it got knocked out because he was dead. Or maybe it happened before. It's going to happen before. Poor That's man. very reasonable. It says, uh, Salida 2021 from Guatemala. So this is like, it kind of looks like a big post-it, like post-it stamp. Like the whole box is kind of stamped on. And I guess this is from a company called charlutravel.com. How can we help? Meet Liz. We aim to offer customer satisfaction for all of our customers and we'll do whatever it takes to take care of you. Nothing but love, joy, and positive vibes. Dude, that's what we do here on Gavin Lamb TV. We're nothing but love, joy, and positive vibes. Or we try to be. Uh, so let's get into this thing. What, are, what you got? What you got? What you got? What's first? Mm, this one's open. You think we should eat it? Why is it open? I don't know. It's like ripped open. You got into this earlier. No, I have not opened these chips. But there, what's this? Like, what's that thing? It's like someone did rip it and then tried to fix it, but it still didn't work. This is from overseas. You think we should still eat it? <laughs> it kind of smell good. It's all mixed up. Oh, it's three different things. Mezcla de frituras de maíz, sabor, queso y chili. That's chili cheese. Um, it says nachos jalapeno, queso fritos, chili. So this is like a, this is like, what country is this from? Guatemala. Guatemala. Well, not all these are from Guatemala. Can't keep this? Yeah. That came, that's a surprise that came in the box. Cody's got a bracelet now. Oh, Tie it on your AR or something. Oh, not oh yeah, yeah, a little little trinket. No, this is these could all be these are from Guatemala, but these could oh, be from Mexico. Guatemala, El Salvador, Mexico, and Japan. Okay, so we're eating the open bag. Yeah, I guess we're gonna taste it. I don't know. It is was open, bag it ripped open. I don't think so. Is that ripped right there? No, it's just folded. Um, Pacantoso. So this is basically a Guatemalan version of. What we have here in the United States called munchies, which is like the mixed up snacks in a one bag. So there's like these little, there's like, it looks like little macaroni shells. And then there's little things that look like Cheetos and little things that look like Doritos. Okay. So it's stale because it was open. You didn't open this before. Yeah. Dude, that has a really good flavor, actually. 
I can't compare that to anything we have here in the U.S. Actually, that's some really good kind of unique spice. Pretty good. Something familiar about it, but I can't tell you what. I guess it's the uh, cheesy. Cheesy, yeah. It kind of like the spicy munchies, almost. So these look like Cheetos. These look like Takaritos Chili Toredo. Uh, Takis. Yeah, these look exactly like Takis. And these are from Honduras? Or Dominican Republic? Got yeah, both of them on here. Distributed in Guatemala. So I guess it's a Guatemala product. Taquitos Te Chili Torito. Dude, look, they're like tighter rolled than the pitcher. They're tighter rolled than Takis, it looks like. I gotta say anything about lime. It's just chili. That's a talkie. Yeah, it tastes just like a talkie. Like, I'd be willing to bet this came from the same factory. Maybe not. It's kind of crunchier. You gotta be careful biting into these. Yeah, they're they're kind of they're crunchier. No. Oh. oh, Cody likes talkies. I'm gonna sit there and eat the whole bag. Which one next? Let's go with the Dorito looking one. Dorito, alright, you open it. Go right ahead. Tell us where it's from. It's called Ranchitas. Ranchitas! Where do you think we're, uh, it's from? Uh, somewhere on the back. Like, this one's from El Salvador. That one, it looks like it's gonna be distributed in Guatemala, but it also has Honduras yes, for their that's customer that's service. service. And then Republica Dominicana. But I think because, I mean, this says Guatemalan snack, so I think it's probably another snack from Guatemala. What do you see that What? Um, on the back, it says, I mean, on the box, it says Guatemala. It yeah, say, but it could be from Guatemala, Mexico, Japan. Yeah, but Dominican Republic's not in Mexico. It would say, like, one of these is definitely from Japan. Looks like that's for the, that's definitely gonna be from Japan, right? Oh yeah. That's from Guatemala. Nacho ex extamante. Whoa, kind of weird. That's a weird nacho cheese flavor. No. I don't really like it. <laughs> Ew, it like gave me a... It's weird. It gave me a weird flavor on my tongue. It was like... The like, taste is good, though. It's like, it's like a... I mean, bacon, it, I, like I will... cheesy bacony. Yeah, I'll say it gets better as you, like, sit on it. But, like, I feel like they were, like, trying to be... Or, like, it's like a wannabe um, spicy nacho Dorito. Mm. What are these? Are these peanuts? What's that, peanuts? Con salsa picante, Elotito, El, Elotitos Valientes, by a company called Diana. Are we and saying these? This is from Guatemala. Huh? Are we saving these? Yeah, for a oh. particular car. Oh my gosh. Are they corn nuts? It's corn nuts. Corn what? They're corn nuts, or. You know what they're called? Oh, dude, those are good. Bro, What's I was just snack on it. Dude, it's like a... It's a corn, piece of corn. Oh, it is It's corn. like hardened corn nut. That's a really good flavor, though. That's a lot better than I thought it would be. I could snack on that at a ball game or something. I could probably. It tastes good. Yeah, it's good. So, let's see. It's... Oh, I tore that. That's real hands. good. I know. I was like super surprised. I might want to like order some of these. Yeah, they're just like corn nuts. But the seasoning on there is awesome, man. I would love like 
It's like a mild talkie with a, with another flavor. Dude, if I could... It's like a more like savory, nacho-y flavor. I get rid of sunflower like seeds in a baseball game and just take some of those. That would be awesome. I eat those all day. You could get a big bag of these. Man. This is... <laughs> Boo? <laughs> What's up, boo? <laughs> boo nachos. Boo nachos. Sorry, I don't think we've been showing y'all the bags at all. <laughs> boo nachos chili y limon extremo. So this is chili limon. So this is chili and lime. And uh, this is also from El Salvador. We got an El Salvador product now. The rest of them been from Guatemala so far. And uh, chili and lime is what Takis are, so this should be interesting. It says Extremo, so maybe a little bit more heat with these. I'm not sure. I'm going in. Ooh, the lime. Yeah, you check the lime. Like, real good. Ooh, that's good lime. It is a little bit spicier than everything we've had so far. It's a little too much lime for me, but that's just a... Personal preference. It does kind of kick you in the mouth. But I mean, definitely let you know it's there. Now, it definitely, it's like Extremo on it. Definitely the hottest thing in the box so far. I'm really getting the spice from that. More than any of the other ones. Oh, yeah. It's just an initial spice. Tos, Tostecas Originales. It's got a dragon on it, breathing fire on these chips. Pico, Pica Mucho, and it's got a fire hydrant. Tortillas de maíz, so corn tortillas, uh, chili chipotle, a sabor y limón. So, uh, again, it's going to be another chili and lime flavored, spicy Dorito style chip. These are all kind of broken up in here. Oh, you get the biggest piece. I didn't get mine. Mine are all broken up. Um, it just tastes like chili cheese. But not a good, yeah, not a good chili cheese. Corn nut. It tastes like the... I don't know, I don't taste good. Oh, I don't like that. Where's that one from? This one's from El Salvador. This one is also from El Salvador. Torti chips, Tronics. Torti chips, corn flour chips, jalapeno spicy. Is that Fritos? I guess so, yeah. It's gonna be like a, maybe a Frito style snack. That's, actually it looked different than anything I've ever seen, ever. There you go. Actually jalapeno. Right flavored chips and they're like these little bands like they look kind of like they look look at that like little almost like a how you would get like sour belts or something like oh very flavor's good weird consistency yeah i don't like the consistency it's almost like a uh like a spongy yeah almost like a melt in your mouth type of consistency if it were to if you were to like leave it on your tongue for a second it would get soggy The flavor's really good. You getting soggy? No. Hmm. Well, I've had more, more of a crisp than I thought. Do you hear that? Look, look. It's crispy. It's just initial spongy. You know, when you Come bite on. into it to crunch the whole thing, it kind of there's a little bit like of crisp back, back or like like a like the I don't know. I'm like anything I've ever had, I honestly. I've never had a snack like that. Weird. That it tastes real good, though. Yeah, the jalapeno flavor on that, like, really good. Mmm, I love jalapeno snacks. Um. <laughs> there's like so much in here that just looks like Takis. Oh, uh, these look like 
Cheetos. Queso, queso fritos. Chill, chill Tito. Chill Tito. Chill Tito. See, I don't know. Chill Tito. Chill Tito. Chill Tito. There's no. Chill Tito. There's no Chile. This is chill. Well, the. Chill Tito! I don't know. I don't know. Butchering this. We're almost Spanish. Um. Expendido Frito de Maiz Sabor Chili y Queso. So another chili cheese flavored something. Looks like Cheetos on there. I know you probably can't see it very well. Uh, kind of looks like Cheetos. Like when you actually look at it from this way, it almost looks like cinnamon Cheetos. <laughs> but you know it can't be, right? Mm -hmm. Could be. Cinnamon. It's spicy. It's kind of spicy. These look like Cheetos. Like really no, nothing. They look like cinnamon. I told you. Whoa. It's like the softest Cheeto you'll ever bite into. Oh wow. I kinda wish our Cheetos were like that. Oh! They're like the um They're shaped like this. Like a Cheeto. Like a, puff. like a crunchy Cheeto, yeah, but it's the consistency is a puff. I mean it's tougher than a puff, but it's a little I've had a snack like this that was, yeah, it was like between a Cheeto and a Puff, a Cheeto Puff. That's weird. I like that consistency better than the other one. Um, tus favoritos chisarrones picantes. So these are going to be like pork rind. Yeah, a little pork rind. Sabor Barbacoa Picante. Pretty cool. A little spicy barbecue action. And this is from, do we even say where these were from? I don't like them. So the, the little Cheetos here, the soft Cheetos, they were from um, El Salvador. I don't know. It says El Salvador and Guatemala on there and Nicaragua and Costa Rica. Oh, so I'm not sure. Maybe they're just from everywhere. Um... These say Guatemala on them. So these are from Guatemala. Chicharrones. Uh, yeah, let's get into it. See what they're like. I'm interested. Like pork rinds. There, yeah, there's like, it's like a bag of little bitty pork rinds pieces. They're good. I, it just tastes like pork rinds. Yeah, I mean... They're good. They're just pork rinds, but um, if you're going to get pork rinds here um, in the United States, two of the best brands, in my opinion, are Baguettes. And uh, what's that one you can get in every gas station? It's called like something in Duff's. Tom and Duff's. I don't or, know. That's my own. Yeah. yeah they, those are like the best. So you can't really mess with those. But those are just your basic spicy uh, chicharrones. And uh, I mean, there ain't nothing wrong. <laughs> Cheese You want some macaroni? Or some cheese That's definitely for you. Frijoli. Chips con chili. Tor tortillas de maiz. Corn tortillas with uh, queso y chili. So these are all like, a lot of these snacks are just like chili cheese flavored snacks. And these are like your like Frito scoops. These are from El Salvador. Just your basic corn chip looking thing. Oh, there's a lot more. Not as dark as the picture. There's a lot more seasoning going on on the outside of these than Fritos here. It's softer than the Frito. Too. Why is it with their, their chip being soft? I don't know. I don't taste chili. I'm not sure what I taste. It's not exceptionally good, but it's not really that bad either. I like the fact that it has seasoning on the outside. I'm not sure what this means, but apparently it means seasoning on the outside. And um, I might get a very slight hint of taco seasoning, maybe. I got these from, uh, you know what? Maybe these are all from Guatemala. 
Maybe these are the options, and then we just got a Guat Guatemala box. I mean, we got, well, some of them say El Salvador, but none of these have been from Japan so far. Or Mexico, as far as we know. Yeah. Or Mexico. Um, Zombos. Oh, my gosh. Yukita's Chili Torito. Looks like a, like a sweet potato chip. Yeah, it kind of does. It's like a sweet potato or something. It's brown and thin. And also from uh, Guatemala. Yeah, it's like sweet potato chips or like plantain or something. Look at that. It looks like petrified wood. Let me show you this. Ow. Oh, man. Look at how this one looks. It looks like... The layer of like petrified wood or something. Or like a banana chip or a sweet potato chip. Oh, it's really hard. It's got a weird aftertaste. Ew, it's purple. Oh. It's ate a purple. Those are not good. Is this plantains? No. Are you sure? No. <laughs> like, no, you're not sure? No. <laughs> yuca. No. Or yuca chips. These are yuca chips, guys. Yukitas. That's why it says Yukitas. That means yuca. Okay, cool. We're learning Spanish! Arriba! I don't know what that means. Alright, we're on to Tortrix Picante. Um, yeah. Some more corn style tortilla. Just corn, I don't know. From looks like El Salvador. Check it out. That Fritos again? Yeah, these are more crispy like the Fritos we have here in the U.S. And less flavorful, just like the Fritos we have here in the U.S. A little bit of salt, I think. But those taste like... They taste like Fritos. Yeah, exactly like Fritos. Alright, last bag of chips in the box, guys. I'm a little bit disappointed because it says that we were going to experience spicy, like... Caution spicy. Oh, yeah. The spiciest thing in this bag was the boo. Because they the boo. They my boo. Nachos. Chili y limon extremo. This is the hottest thing so far. Let's see if this last bag can beat it. Um, Tortrix Tacos Chili Rose. 15% more product. Because it says 15% mas producto. So that I, I understand Spanish enough to know that that's 15% more product. In this bag... For a dollar fifty or a queso fifty or something. I don't know. Um, these. Was that pesos? Huh? Is that pesos? Yeah, pesos. What did I say? I don't know. I wasn't listening. I don't. Thank you for that. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, El Salvador, it looks like. But who really knows? Let's get into it. Ooh, these look like. You know, in a bag of Takis, when there's like that random one or two that are just way bigger than the rest? Yeah. Kind of looks like that. But the whole bag is like almost that size. I don't know. Well, that's a little tiny guy. Maybe the small ones in those are like the rare ones. All right. Let's All right. That's definitely a Taki. We've had two Takis within this mix. But it's not as, uh, like the other ones was tougher. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Definitely tougher. And I can go ahead and tell you right now. The Boo Nachos Chili y Limon Extremo right here in the black bag. This one was hands down the spiciest item in this box. Um, 
So with all these chips, you got to try a lot of stuff from different countries or whatever. So, I mean, if you want to, you can just go on Amazon and buy one of these for like 25 bucks for shipping and handling and everything. Um, it's not too bad if you want to do your own video or do your own taste test, then go right ahead. Most of these were from Guatemala and El Salvador. Actually, all of them were from either Guatemala or El Salvador. We didn't get anything from Japan or uh, I don't think Mexico. Unless these are from Mexico. Let's see. Made in Mexico. We got one item from Mexico. <laughs> all right. So, guys, I don't know if y'all have ever heard of it before. But there are places in Mexico and other countries where you can go on the beach. I mentioned this in the chip tasting. You can go out on the beach and there'll be like vendors out on the beach. You know, like uh, in America, there's people that are trying to sell bottled waters on the beach or something. Or maybe you try to uh, sell you family pictures, something like that. Um, they have people that walk on the beaches with fresh sliced mango. And then they have chili powder. In a bag or in a oh, shaker. Oh, no, that's mango. Yeah, and so they will take it and they'll you buy you buy the mango and they say you want a little or a lot and you're like you know stack it up and they'll dip the fresh cut mango in the powder in the chili powder, boom and then they hand it to you and it's like an ice cream cone but it's a fresh sliced mango the fruit with chili powder all over it. That is what these suckers are from Mexico. It's a uh, chili. And mango suckers. So I figured we would uh, try them out, bro. Okay. Because uh, they sent them to us in the box as a treat. And uh, why would we deny it? Mmm. So tart. Apparently that flavor profile is supposed to be amazing, though. So I'm not sure if this is tahine or what, but I know that the most popular, one of the most popular chili like f flavors and, and powders, seasonings out there is tahine. And I need to get myself some because I've heard it's so much spicy? about it. I think it does have a little bit of spice. I mean, it's chili powder. I can't, I mean, it's hard to tell right now with everything we've had, but it's not really, it's not overwhelming. No, but I think it is. I think it does have a little bit of heat. But you, you, it really blends in well with the tartness of the mango. Mm -hmm. It's like a, this is a very unique treat. And I would love to have the, the fresh mango with the chili on there just to try it. Um, How big is it? With, what? With the fresh mango. It's like this thing, they like dice it around the edge. It's like a, I don't know if it's a half a mango or a whole mango. But they slice it up. Oh, it's big. And it kind of unfolds almost like a blooming onion. Oh, kind of like a stick. They oh. shove it onto a stick and then they give it to you. They dip it in the chili powder and then you just kind of eat it or whatever, you know, as you go. Um, also, guys, I've tried this before and it really threw me for a loop because I didn't know how I was going to react to it. I didn't think it would be that great. And I'm a Coca-Cola guy, not a Pepsi guy. There's not very many Pepsi products at all that I liked before this. Uh, but I think it goes well, and I thought it would very much complement this uh, spicy taste test and obviously the chili uh, mango sucker. So, Cody, if you want to join me, uh, I'm excited for you to try Pepsi Mango for the very first time. Ooh, I like the magical release. Give it a little sniff. It's kind of... So, when you smell it, it's fruity. Oh, yeah. So... This is actually Pepsi's original, like... Pepsi. Yeah, Pepsi. And then it contains 1% juice, so they oh, actually mixed it. it with mango juice, and Ooh. that's how they get the flavor. But I think it's super unique. I think it's actually what Pepsi's needed this whole time. It's pretty that's good. It's really good. It's real good. I love mango flavor stuff anyway. I know. I was excited for you to try this. <laughs> Me and Darby did the chip taste test last week, and we had three Pepsi Cola um, varieties that were brand new to us anyway that we never had, and this was one of them. And I tasted it, and I let her taste it, and she didn't really like it. She didn't really like mango, but I took it again, and I almost drank the whole thing just sitting here in front of the camera because I thought it was so good. 
But who thought that, uh, you know, vanilla with Coke would be good? Or cherry with Coke would be good? Or, or I, I, I still haven't tried the orange with Coke. Oh, dude, orange, or the orange vanilla Coke. It's like creamsicle. <laughs> um, so, yeah, whoever thought that uh, mango and Pepsi was going to be good was awesome. And I don't know how many years they've been doing the uh, chili powder on mango stuff, but it's pretty darn good. Unique flavor profile. Pretty neat. Thank you, Mexico, for putting this in our box. Whoever packed this box. Um, yeah, man. Uh, I don't really know what to say. I mean, there, this, this box wasn't um, spicy like I thought it could be or like I thought it would be when I bought them. However, it was still a very fun experience, I'd say, trying some snacks from other countries and just kind of seeing comparing you know what we've snacked on our whole lives and the new snacks that are coming out in the u.s compared to some of the snacks from uh, el salvador and guatemala and uh mexico so this is great by the way you like this sucker oh, wow. you have to get you some you know they sell them apparently i looked it up when i was trying to figure out exactly what it was it was like a big old like bag of them like really? probably 50 or 100 um but uh yeah it's so funny, you're such a picky eater. Like Something like that is something you would find really, really good. Oh, no. I like it. I call that a win. All right, we're about to go finish our suckers and our mango Pepsi and chill out. But uh, hopefully you thought this was interesting or um, maybe just inspired you to go try some chips from another country or maybe just do some kind of snack crate, random country snack crate. Uh, taste test with your family and friends so go do it do it upright and uh you know as always guys much love peace out